Welcome back, guys. It is the Brothers Geek Out Podcast 151. G Man, last show in the UK. Yeah, last night in the yeah. UK. Last show in the UK. It's my last night in the UK. Uh, heading off to Dubai tomorrow. And then two weeks later, back to Singapore. So, uh, yeah, man, it's been an epic three months. It's been an amazing three months. Even though it wasn't planned. And it happened by accident, you know. Of course, I don't want a new strain of the virus coming out and whatnot. Mm-hmm. But it did come out, and it did lead to me staying here for three months. But amazing three months, man. Haven't been at home for this long in the last seven years, so it's been great to be home, being in this routine, see Idris every day, see Alara, bond with them, man. It's been great. It's been great. But I always feel emotional when I leave. Heavy, it's always heavy, weird, heavy hearted, doesn't it? Heavy hearted, heavy chest. I'm. All, it's only gonna go once I'm on the plane, and the, and that's it. That's when it's gonna go. Um, so until then, I'm just gonna feel basic. So tomorrow night, fly out. But yeah, man, today was a nice day. Had a nice day with the family. Had a nice family dinner. Mm. Had some games good, and stuff. Good. It was good, man. Good soundtrack one. We need to do that more often, man. I like that. That was fun. That was fun. Uh. Freshened up. Got myself we, a little trim, ready for Dubai. We we you do it, sir. Yeah, man. Oh, right. It's not too bad, isn't it? Shape up myself. No, it's well, I, one thing I can never understand, right? Mm. Look how I shape it up. Now, it's not perfect, but it's still shaped up. Bro, barbers you never used to be able to f- do do that. I don't know why. It's because they don't... Because my head, like, see this part here? Yeah, my hair comes out a bit. Mm. And they always would like, oh, no, if we take it up too much, it's going to make your forehead look big, big. Which is true. However, mm. it still looks better when it's lined up. Yeah, it does. It's neater. Uh, I don't know, but, but he's just playing it safe, isn't it? So you don't switch and, and say, like, what do I look like toy for? You know what? <laughs> <laughs> you know what, though? I'm so not in... I, I'm so... I, I can't... Com- I, my, I can't even talk right now. I avoid conflict so bad. Hmm. <laughs> One time, I'm a left champion's barber shop with half a moustache. I didn't say that. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to go home and shave it off. I avoid... First of all, I don't know how the barber. What was his name? Um, Spooky. Spooky. <laughs> and he exposed. Spooky is. One, I don't know how Spooky made me um, leave the barber shop with half a, half a moustache. And two, I just don't like conflict. Where I just like, fuck it. Let, I'm just going to go home and shave it off. Uh, so, yeah. We're watching Zohan. We're watching Zohan, but I wanted to know, what was that? Vaseline or something? No, or man, just it, was new, well, they, it was new or foreign or something. Yeah. <laughs> something for, for uh, genital warts. <laughs> but... <laughs> Absolutely buzz. But uh yeah, it's gonna be sad to see G Man go past three months. We've been able to see him on the weekends and during the week. Uh it's time you don't realise how quick time just goes. Uh butter, she tastes it as well. <laughs> That's nasty. Uh, for, it's for cuts and general sauce. <laughs> Look at her son, he feels upset. <laughs> <laughs> this film is a joke. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't mess with the Zohan. You know what? I do want to do a therapy sessions with a pace person I can't name, so we can put a little a blank spot around his face. You know the blurry face game. <laughs> so basic. Oh my god! Because uh, this film is such a silly film, but it's such a funny film, man. It's got a great message to it if you really think about it. Um, <laughs> so bad. Oh, guys. Oh, this is too much. If you haven't yeah. seen it, don't mess with the Zohan. Adam Sandler, legend. Brilliant movie. Brilliant movie. Uh, it's been, yeah, so back and forth this week. Uh, I'm off for the next couple of days. Uh, what did I get to see this week? I got to see White Tiger, which you saw a couple of weeks ago, which was a really good film. And today we found out it's like one of the most watched movies on Netflix at the moment. Yeah, as we're uh, saying, there's like a billion people in India, so a lot of those people watched it. Um, great it's, concept it's a great movie yeah great it was movie. A bo- based off a New York bestseller book or something like that so it's pretty good <sighs> it's gonna be a takeover bro totally <sighs> oh, man that class system is a whole next uh, bullshit of stuff that I don't really want to get into but it the movie it is, explains man. it really well it is what it is the world is like that man Different. I mean we're kind of lucky we live in this western part of the world obviously there's faults out here too mm. but those other parts of the world man well every place everywhere's got faults to be honest with you you can't really you can't really beat that this was the best film uh, sorry this was Adam Sandler and he was at, in like peak condition bro no you're going to great shape talks, bro. Bro. you're going to great shape for this he had abs and everything yeah man. Uh, Surprised he didn't want to keep it but I'm, it's great that he trained for it yeah, exactly man. took it seriously <laughs> in a way took it seriously in a way uh 
Even his stature, he looks like Jakub. <laughs> oh, yeah. That yellow t shirt. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. 100% looks like Jakub. Ah, oh, but yeah, here we go. Discord. Let's let's do, let's talk about uh, movie news this week. Yeah, let's talk about some movie news. First of all, I saw that Superman and Lois had was it three point five billion views or something like that. Yeah, so In basically, I had week. some so good. Uh, everyone said amazing things about it. you. Said it was pretty good. They said like movie quality and whatnot, and the different concept they're taking it. I heard Kevin Smith and Mark Bernard talk about it. I think they said they saw it. Uh, same thing. They said it was um, it's really good. So it, to me, look, man, season one, episode one could be great, and I'm a hundred percent. I think I'm gonna catch it, but it's just what happens with these CW shows. Like, will they maintain the same level of Budget energy? And quality, yeah, yeah. throughout well, the whole time. I saw episode two this week, and they've kept good to the story, uh, and they've kept good to uh, the way it looks as well. My main issue was that they were gonna blow the budget on the first two pilot episodes. Well, the pilot episode, which is an hour and a half, but. They do well. I think they're going to stick to it. They got signed up for a second season anyway. Really? Yeah, signed up for a second season already, yeah. So if they keep that right amount of uh, memento going, give it that nostalgia. They brought people in with nostalgia, didn't they? And then after that, they gave you a good solid... It's more of a family story. It's not It's not your everyday Superman. You know, they, they're finding good... They found a good story for this to work with, so... Interesting, and because we've already been introduced to the multiverse, this uh, fits in really well. But yeah, no, really good. Uh, it's mm -hmm. a good one. I'll check it out. I'll definitely check it out. I mean, I mean, yeah, I'll check it out. Hey, everyone's saying good things about it, so I'll take a look. Mm. I just don't know if I'll commit to it because what Flash is on season nine now. I lost, I lost all interest after season three. Yeah, same. And man. I just don't know if this will do the same. I shouldn't judge it. I'll go watch it. Um, no, I'll give it a go. Give looks it a awesome. Go. Um, go from there. Cool. More on DC stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, we got less than two weeks then, uh, or two weeks for Justice League. Can't wait for that. Yes, very exciting. Um, very exciting. But two things: Green Lantern HBO series filming next month, and then nice. Black Adam starts film filming in April. So so excited. Some stuff going on with DC, man. Some stuff going on. A lot of recordings, a lot of filming, and. Um, Hopefully this year with the vaccine, with corona test and, you know, just making things a bit more efficient and taking precautions, they can get back to filming and production and mm -hmm. get back with all of that stuff. It's what we need, man. Definitely what we need. We need, uh, we need some normality come back. But I'm excited about Black Adam. I'm excited about this HBO show. If all goes well, then we're, we're going to get to see a really good DC universe uh, start blossoming on TV now because... What Watchmen was great. I really enjoyed Watchmen. So to to see another uh, DC uh, franchise come up onto the big screen, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with it. Yeah, Watchmen got all these awards and whatnot. To be honest, I, I watch episode, I think up to three or four, mm. uh, and then uh, something happened. I lost track. So I need to get back on it. Actually, I might have to start again. It was good, really but, uh, good, because yeah. this is based from the comic book, not the movie. So this is why it was much more interesting. And again, they brought in that first episode about, is it Telsa? Mm, I think so. It was a very important part of history that got lost in the, in, uh, in, the, in the history books. Something that's not taught to people. And I've been watching Will Smith's uh, Amend, uh, I need to Fight watch for America, that. which is really good as well. I need to watch that. I that's need one to watch. To watch that. I, saw well, that on, I saw that on the Netflix earlier. I need to, I need to watch that. I didn't realise that was out, but that looks pretty good. Um... Cool. Excuse me, guys. Cool. Well, yeah, DC, man. Let me just hope some good stuff does come out of it anyway. No, Black definitely. Adam and HBO Green Lantern series. I'm interested about to see what they do with Green Lantern. So, um, Cool. The next thing was Michael B. Jordan's new movie. Have you seen the trailer? So Tom, Tom, Cl Tom Clancy's Without Remorse starring Michael B. Jordan as an elite Navy SEAL who undercovers a global conspiracy while avenging the death of his wife and kid. Um, man, that looks emotional. Have you yeah. seen the trailer? Trailer looks wicked. Uh, yeah, nice. No, you know what? I've got. I'm a big fan of Michael B. Jordan. Anyway, man, from what was that one? His first was it his first movie? It wasn't his first movie, was it? The one in the train station. Yeah, uh, Luke, mm. Fruit, uh, Fruit Hill Station. Fruit Hill Station. Like? Yeah. 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 From yeah. since that from day, I've been a big fan of Michael B. Jordan. Yeah, he's and great. all of his work. I just feel like he puts this effort into the work he does. He's awesome, bro. Creed. Yeah. Black Panther, obviously. 
uh, in, in made loads of other films, man. He, he's amazing. He's amazing. Yeah, uh, I've, I, I, I've got time for his his work. Even the the one he did with the the kid with the superpowers, rising rising sun, rising John or something, rising something. I can't remember. It was on I think Netflix. I know what you're about. Yeah, I think I remember what you're talking about. Yeah. 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 That was good. The one he done with. Oh, Michael J. Fox. Not Michael J. Yeah, is it Michael J. Fox? Yeah. Um, Michael J. Fox, what am I talking about? No. Um, why have I gone blank for? Um, come on, man. Why have I forget his name? Oh, oh my what? God. Chronicles. Chronicles is also a great film. Yeah. Um, anyway, for, I've gone so blank, I can't even remember. Who That's plays right. Electro? I'm Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx. Fucking hell. That's how fucked up I am. It's late, bro. And I ate a bit of sugar. He done that film with Jamie Foxx. Remember the when he was a lawyer based on true events? Did you watch that one? Oh, uh, man. Law, um, just... Kind of, just Mercy. Yeah, Just, just Mercy. Mercy, which is another good film. Brain. I can't even yeah. think of anything. But yeah, that was another great film. He's a great performer. And he puts everything into his performance. He does. Um, all the girls love him. He's a good-looking dude. Handsome bastard. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I mean, he's a great, great guy, man. So... Looking forward to... I'm checking that so out. So listen, I I think on my previous podcast, I didn't realise that it was in the making or, you know, they had the rumours of Warner Brothers saying there's another script out. Uh, script right? Sorry, let's start this again. Another person writing, doing a script, J.J. Abrams producing for Superman movie, but they're looking to go with a black Superman lead. And now if they pick who I think they're going to pick, and they pick Michael B. Jordan, then go for it, man. I think he'd do great in the row. Uh, I think a lot of people still wasn't ready to let go of Henry Cavill, but as we know, we don't know what Warner Brothers are planning to do with this character, with what's happening at the moment now. What we're going to get, uh, I don't know, it just, just feels like it wasn't panned out as well as it could have been. But I think that's what it is. It's not because... Okay, some people are just basic and they don't want to see a black Superman. Yeah. That's just basic people. I think other people are more like, man, I don't mind a black Superman, but you just haven't given me enough of Henry Cavill. Yeah. Like if you finished him off properly, then you could have transitioned it over nicely, but they're just not giving anyone a chance or whatever. I don't know whatever mm. the problem is there, but, you know, but yeah, I mean, look, I mean, depending on what sort of script they use, it could be awesome. Like, be it he's still... Michael B. Jordan, um, black Superman, he crashes into Kansas. Be it, it's all black cast, and his mm. parents are going to be black, and all, and Lois will be black, and Luther will be black. Be it, I don't know, it's a multicultural. I mean, I'm, I'm stealing this from Kevin Smith, and he was mm. saying that maybe Lex Luthor could be Asian, and mm. his parents could be white, and he's black, and, you know, Lois could be something else, Arab or whatever. Like a complete multicultural. I mean, it's a multiverse. That's right. So it's not really... Um, the earth that we know it they, it's just a different universe exactly so it just depends on what story they take and maybe the story could be um he's he's, he's different obviously because he's an alien and then will people accept can people accept a, a black superhero as as well as they accept a white superhero exactly yeah, it just it depends maybe the black's got nothing to do with it and he's just a superhero uh, and That's people right. are just look, looking too much into him being black which shouldn't be the case anyway but again storytellers could use that or then again they might not lose that use that at all and just think it's got nothing to do with him being black he's just superman no that's right that's right no looking forward to that uh see where they go with that well, i know that's a couple of years away so oh man i was hoping for henry to get a couple more movies but the way it looks like my man's moved on to the next projects as well. It's very hard. Mm. Uh, he he's Ma- he's Marvel been wanting to do it up. as well. Huh? Marvel should scoop him up. If you know Adam Warlock, Centurion. I mean, that's Centurion is like the uh, Superman in that universe. That's right. Oh um, yes. Oh yes. Maybe even Gladiator, man. Like just just because they look the same. What well, we're paint painting purple and shit. Yeah, if yeah, you bring yeah. him that's in, true. but um, oh, Marvel. Man, what about awesome. Cyclops? I think you'll play a great Cyclops. That's true. Um, you well. know. Man, oh my god, man, Zohan, this is really ridiculous. This uh, is, uh, what do you call him, man? But yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's so much. They, they could snatch him up. He's got such a superhero physique. I mean, you could snatch him up easy. But um, anyway, it is what it is. We'll exactly. see what the Justice Snyder Justice League is like in two weeks. I can't wait for that. Definitely, I'm looking forward to that myself. 
Um, yeah, the next thing was uh, new movies we watched. We watched Coming to America 2 yesterday. I haven't seen uh, it. You haven't seen it, but I won't spoil it or anything. But listen, the movies... Uh, I mean, I've seen some mixed reviews, like four stars here and two stars there, and <laughs> people dissing it and whatnot. But um, people want to diss things. I, don't, I, I really don't know why. Like, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I keep saying that. There are some shit things, but that movie was fun. Listen, simple storyline, right? Um... You know, there was an underlying family sort of touching story to it, which was fine, right? Simple, easy. But, bro, Eddie Murphy bought it, man. He bought it back. Hmm. He was funny. The characters, all these characters, pull it that way. The barbershop, remember the different yeah, characters? Yeah, yeah. On point, bro. Eddie Murphy didn't lose a single beat. He was fucking on point. Um, his co-star, I can't remember his name, man. Um, uh, uh, for, uh, oh, I forgot. He was out. awesome as well with his characters. Wesley Snipes was jokes, mm. bro. He, his, like, the only thing I was spoiled is, like, because he was a general and whatnot. Yeah. But the only thing I was spoiled was the little bop. He had this little side bop. And it, it was jokes, bro. Like I said, there's parts of the movie that's hilarious. Yeah. Um, you know, but I'll give it, like, a, you know, 6.5, 7 out of 10, you know what I mean? Because yeah. it was just fun. And like I said, Eddie Murphy was, was, he didn't miss a beat. Eddie Murphy was awesome. Um, they toned it down, right, compared to the first Original. movie. Um, you know, it, it, the swearing and, and, and whatnot, but the jokes, man, they were there, man. Listen, man, I hope Eddie Murphy fucking comes out with more. I hope he does a stand up. Please, Netflix, just give him the money, let him do a stand up. That guy's still got it, bro. And I'm sure if he released his mind how it was back in the 80s, he would fucking kill it, especially with all the shit that's going on these days. He would have a lot of content. So no, of course, of course, of course. I think he's watch it, bro. What good makes you see. watch it? I'm gonna probably catch that during the week. I'm off Monday, so I'll maybe watch it on Monday. So I'll check it out. And you no, definitely. Everyone, it was. Listen, I'm not gonna spoil it, but everyone was brought back from the first movie. That's what I'm saying. Some, it's right, hilarious. Cool, I'm it's awesome. It. Definitely looking forward to it. Cool, and that, you know what? That was the only things I had on the list. The last thing, obviously, we're gonna talk about and spend the rest of the time talking about is. Wonder Vision, bro. Wonder Vision, yeah, final man. episode. We finally got it. We finally got it. It was, you know, it was good. I need to watch it again. Kind of let it sink in. Uh, I suppose everybody had their own theories throughout the whole series, and that's what Marvel has done to us now. They make us, they make us think for movies. Can you imagine that? Make us they make creative. us do, you know, we're create. What Marvel have done is amazing. Is made us a bit more creative, bro, because they Thinking made like us. This, yeah. What's going to happen next? What do you think? You know, we're creating theories and we're creating scripts and do you along know what? the way. What, do you know what? At the end of the day, right, even though our theories didn't come true, what they ended it, ended with was still fucking moist. No, exactly. You know what I mean? There was exactly. no disappointment. Uh, people just need to... I don't know, man. Because I think everyone so loved it, though. I think everyone no, everybody, loved it. everybody loved it. I haven't everybody heard any it. negative things. A lot of people, because of their theories of... Mr. Fantastic coming in, Reed Richards. Doctor they thought Strange. Dr. Strange I was going to get the end. If I, I'm, not gonna say dis, uh, I'm not going to say disappointed, but I really thought Doctor Strange was coming. And even Paul Bettany was saying that there's a Luke Skywalker type cameo. Who the hell? There was none. There was nothing. No. So, right? So, but, um, so I wouldn't say disappointed, but I was waiting for Doctor Strange to come. And I was like, oh my God, it's going to be sick. But you can obviously see how they teed it up to Doctor Strange. Of course, of course. Uh, but the episode was deep, and I haven't felt emotional. But at the end of it, I felt so bad for her. I felt so mm. sad for her, man. But also, I was like, Marvel are so fucking amazing. This girl has been in... So it's, it's a represent... It's, it's kind of showing the the PTSD, if you want to call it, the, mm. the head trauma this girl's gone through throughout, whole her, li- throughout her whole life. Mm. Parents dying, family dying, then her brother dying in Age of Ultron... Then Vision dying, she killed people in 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 uh, Africa. Like she is, and then three weeks later after Endgame, she goes through all of this. She has to get rid of her whole family. And spoiler alert: so her family that she created in this universe is gone, and uh, it just goes to struggle, show the struggles of what she's going through, man. But what I was trying to say is, they've spent all this time kind of building her up in the background, and now they really built her up, man. Hmm. Scarlet Witch, they gave her. Her uniform. They gave her the mm. the the tiara, the the crown, right, or whatever. Yeah. Bro, it was absolutely awesome. I'm like, I'm still amazed that Marvel's so good. They're so good that they spend years building up a character, 
and you have a, an emotional connection towards every single character. Because after I watched, I watched that, I was like, I want some more Scarlet Witch. That's but right. you know we're getting Falcon, Falcon as Winter Soldier in a couple of weeks, and we're going to want right. more of that. Low-key, they're going to... Bro, they, they, they're so good at character building. And like I said, at the end of that, I felt emotional. To, me, to be honest, when she was in that cabin by herself, I was a bit like, this reminded me of Hulk. Like, you know, the lonely man? In yeah, the sense yeah, that Nobody yeah, likes exactly. me. I, I didn't really know how to control my power, so I, I hurt a lot of people. That's right. And then, um, but, so I felt sad for her. But what was awesome was that final scene when she took her, her spirit side out and was reading the uh, the book, mm-hmm. just like Doctor Strange. And that's like, exactly. the, that was moist. That was moist. That's right. No, really good. Uh, they are starting to really open up the Marvel. This opens it up even more now. You know what I mean? The multiverse kicks in and we are going to go see some things. She's going to try and bring her kids back, bro. Well, yeah. yes, exactly. I watched it twice. So at yeah. the end, when she was reading the book, she can hear her kids say, save us, mom, yeah. save us. So there's something. They're in, they're in a reality that she's probably created. She, that reality that she's created, they're out there somewhere. That um, and uh, the other vision is going to come back in the game again. That was awesome as well, the yeah. white vision. Because the way they kind of, it wasn't, like everybody's wanting to get that big last battle scene uh but they came to an understanding he passed his memories on which is amazing well, what was what i found amazing about that was um he wasn't the true that was an intelligent beef bro very they, they intelligent. were throwing philosophies around and i was yeah. like kind of lost on what they were talking about but obviously there's intelligent beings yeah um that was an, that was more of an intelligent battle, man. And at the end, he's like, "Look, let's." Because Vision in Wonder Vision's reality, he actually didn't know what happened before, right? Exactly. Remember, because he was created from Wonder from Wonder. Exactly. And the other Vision, he they knew that, you know, the the cellular or whatever. You don't you don't lose that memory. It's just in there somewhere. So that's, that's why right. when he connected, not only did White Vision see all the memories, but also Vision Vision saw all the memories from the beginning. That's it. So, yeah, man. Then the White Vision said, "What did he say? I am Vision." And he I'm flew off. Blurted, so. so he's back, man. Vision's back, and Wonder Vision Wonder's gonna get him back later. So definitely, we got Without Vision that. back. That was awesome. <laughs> no, that was really good. It was a good show. Uh, need to watch it again. Again Monday, I'm gonna watch it again. Uh, what about the end with Rambo and um, the squad? Yeah. yeah, that was cool. That teaser up, that teed up. I think Captain Marvel two. Captain Marvel two, and also a show for her if they really want to. Well, no, uh, Secret Invasion. Secret Nick Invasion. Fury. Exact. Oh yes. Nick Fury show. Yeah. Nick Fury because they said the guy above, which is obviously thinking it's Nick Fury because after right. Far From Home we saw he was out of space. That's so right. That would be awesome. Um, man, it's so good, man. I mean, Jimmy Woo, the FBI agent, is such a lovable character. You kind of want to see him in all the movies. I kind of want to see him. I want to see Spidey's friend. I want to see Ant-Man's friend. Mm. Um, uh, you know, people like Drax, all in one movie or something. Man, just yeah, that'd joke. be hilarious, yeah. <coughs> no, it was actually really good, really good. I'm looking forward to seeing Falcon and Winter Soldier. The new trailer just came out today, a little quick. A uh, thirty-minute clip, which was absolutely awesome. Thirty-minute clip, not thirty minutes. Sorry, thirty-second, oh, thirty-second clip, and then um, all the uh, hype for Justice League at the moment. I'm loving at the moment as well. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to see that. I'm definitely uh, looking forward to watching that movie as well. So yeah, we've got an exciting couple of weeks coming up, man. Definitely for sure, forward. man. Yeah. Like I said, if if for some miracle Justice League is showing in the cinemas in Dubai, I'm a hundred percent going to the movie theater. Otherwise. I gotta figure it out and catch it out there, but yeah, all the hypes around that. But listen, man, Wonder Vision. I thought it was awesome. I mean, I think it ended amazingly. It gave me a lot of emotions. Um, as soon as I I saw it, scrolling through Instagram straight away, see a picture of Kevin Smith crying, saying, "I've seen it three times." I was like, "I feel you, bro. I hundred. I feel you." I knew he'll be crying, so I'm looking forward to seeing Fat Man Beyond this week and just to hear his him and Mark Bernardin's review on that. Um, but, yeah, man, great show. I mean, I'm trying to think, was there anything else we, uh, about that? I mean, like, she's going to learn so much about her character and about magic. And, man, like, she doesn't even understand her powers. And she's going to be learning so much. Now. Exactly. She's exactly. going to be a force. I don't know what they're going to do with her still, but she's going to be a force to be reckoned with. 
The only thing that gets me is this guy, yeah, they've debunked what Ralph Boner, you know, the Quicksilver is not Quicksilver. Oh, yes, yes, yeah, yeah. But then where did he get his super speed from? It where was, did he get the costume? It was, um... It was it was thing in it Hartley uh, Heartless or whatever her name is. Agatha Heartless. So she gave the guy. Mm, yeah, actually, you're right. Yeah. She she knew his her brother obviously right. So she just gave him the powers. I remember in the episode before she said that he she was so delusional she actually believed that it was her brother. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So that's how delusional she was, and uh, Agatha took took advantage of her basically. That's just racist. What just happened? There. I know. I know. This film is bear, just completely bear, bear people. Coming out the car, uh, bro. Anyway, I'm not gonna ask too many questions. I think the problem with stuff like that and intoxicated fans, they take it f- way too far. Uh, I'm I'm excited. This is the beginning of Marvel Phase Four, guys. This is the beginning, so we don't need everything that we thought that was gonna be in there. It's just good to see some Marvel stuff on the TV. You know what I mean? So I'm excited to see where they go next with it. Yeah, I can't wait, bro. I can't wait. Listen, bro. What we got? Okay, one week gap. Next week, like I say, you can binge through One Division again if you want. It's mm. like a two and a half hour, three hour movie, and then uh, the week after will be Falcon and Winter Soldier. So we're not left alone. So that should be awesome. Um, so I'm looking forward to that one, man. Looking forward to more Marvel content. Please just keep making more. Uh, and this just guy's trying to fight the fire. Sorry, <laughs> yeah, they're trying to punch the fire. <laughs> He's making me laugh. Uh, yeah, no, definitely. Very excited, bro. Uh, hummus. This movie was all about just bare hummus. But as well. The thing is, I'm, I'm surprised my man come out and got no hummus on him. Yeah, watch, watch, watch. So nothing, nothing. Clean no as hummus, a whistle. Clean as a whistle. <laughs> shiny got, jacket. Shiny everything. jacket, everything. <laughs> Guys, if you haven't seen Don't Mess With a Zohan, you have to watch it. It's good, harmless fun. Don't expect more than that. Uh, I absolutely love this movie. Yeah, it's if hilarious. you don't have a sense of humour, then don't watch don't it. Don't watch it. Oh, no, he's got yeah. a bit of hummus on him, bro. He does, he does, yeah. Because it's very insensitive. It could be very insensitive towards the Arabs and whatnot, the the, the Israeli and Palestinian situation. But yeah. it's got an important message to it, basically. Exactly. Um, but if you haven't got a sense of humour to it, then don't watch it. But if you can take a joke and then like to watch a fun movie with an end kind of meaning to it, then... Fucking brilliant movie. Should be me though. All right, we're not gonna hold this any longer, guys. Massive, massive thank you. Make sure you check us out on YouTube, SoundCloud, Apple Podcast, Spotify. I'm gonna get on Google Podcast next week. Uh, but guys, massive thank you for everybody who joins in and listens. Uh, you guys are awesome, and we will catch you guys up from. Gilman can be in Dubai next week, so we catch him up from Dubai next week. But uh, have a wonderful week, guys. One love. Peace. Peace.